Anderson. I bring me Oh, seriously, my window. <laughs> Mr. Carr, the angry car. Yes! So Alright guys, be looking at and welcome break to the show. Or dead end? That is not breakneck. That is dead end, guys. And dead end is... A Ferrari! Yeah, it looks like he is a Ferrari, guys. And this was eventually remolded into... And recolored slightly into uh, smoke screen. Unfortunately, this part got stuck and uh, this part came off. So guys, uh, Leo has modified this into the roadkill version of Dead End. I don't like it like except, that. Except it. instead of instead of not missing the hood, now is missing the windshield. Uh, this is a really, really cool... Uh, this is one of the coolest entries into the Combiner Wars. Like Combiner Wars, we have a ton of these guys. If you look at the playlist, there's a bazillion vehicles on there. Maybe not quite that many. But we really, really like that line. Uh, sure, it's big and blocky, but there is some really cool stuff to it, like this one. This one actually reminds me of, almost as, as much of Jackie and Sunstreaker as it does um, as it does uh, smoke screen, though. So let's take a look at him in vehicle mood. Okay, guys. So here he is in his loose slung race car vehicle mood. Stunning vehicle mode. And he's got one racing stripe, which is not I super. Oh, look at this; it kind of it kind of drifts. They didn't <laughs> they didn't register these graphics exactly right when they Size did the compares. when they did the tampo here, guys. Size compares. Okay, guys. So Lee is going to get a um, another deluxe vehicle to compare this to. You can see it's got the the headlights here, similar to like a Gallardo. Actually, though, smoke screen was prowl. This is not a prowl vehicle. This is this is um, almost like you know. This is almost like the Pagani. All right, guys, and it does have the these cool rims on it. There's a lot of really neat stuff. I thought with the Combiner Wars line, the back. There's not. Uh, you know, we could. I could add. I could add some red tail light paint there. Got the exhaust better? port here. Yeah, guys. Sure. Let's uh, compare them to. Camaro. This is a movie deluxe class cliff jumper, and you can see they are very, very close. Very close indeed. But yeah, this is I uh, I don't know who he forms as part of the. Menosaur. Is it Menosaur? But uh, yeah, Dead End, of course, is the zombie. Oops. The zombie transformer. So it's not the worst thing in the world that part of his car is beat up because. You know, when you see zombies all the time, you got some swirls and stuff in the plastic. When you see, when you, oh, and it can also crawl with those mirrors. But when you see, um, you know, when you see zombies, they're usually, they're usually pretty hammered. So, anyway, so uh, whipping this guy into, we're going to do robot mood. Fighting a cliff jumper. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm supposed to be fighting with cliff jumper. <laughs> Guys, if there ever comes a day when we see Decepticons trying to transform Autobots, that will be a interesting day indeed. I'm supposed to be okay. fighting with cliff jumper. Like I'm supposed to be. <sighs> All right. There's Cliff. Okay, Cliff. All right. In my life of being a Decepticon, I want to be an Autobot. So Dead End, of course, is a dangerous, one of the more dangerous figures in that he will leech Energon even from Decepticon buddies as well. <laughs> his auto boots. And you can see the, so the movie deluxes were actually kind of big. And you can see that... Uh, I don't want my Energon sucked out. Not cliff, today. The cliff... 
and we can see that Cliff is if he ever stands up, if he is slightly taller than the Combiner Wars version of Dead End, but not by a great deal. They definitely are very recognizably deluxe class. Energon. And let's take a look at you, Mr. McGew, in. So, oh, uh, so his, so his windshield goes back here, right? Mm hmm yeah, so it's not there right now, but all right, guys. So we got this sort of backpack here, and again, it's the same blocky shapes that we've all come to know and love from our Combiner Wars figures. He's got the combiner plug in there, and a classic, classic head sculpt for Dead End. I, I like this. is actually one of my favorite. I think one of my favorite. Um, Combiner Wars figures, guys, and we got them way, way late in the game, of course. I, I, I don't remember ever seeing this guy in stores. In fact, we would have bought him. But he's super stable, guys. You can see, I love this color. This maroon color on him, it's almost like it's a, it's a, almost like a blood red. I just, I adore it. I think it's great. He's got a really, really good, good visual appearance to him. So in both modes, actually, this is one of the few figures out there, guys, that I think is awesome in both robot and vehicle mood. Energon. And yes, and he is searching for Energon. Ooh, Energon! Ah! Oh, got a force field. Ugh. Hurry, um, let's, let's transform him back into vehicle mode before he tries to suck any of the other autobots. Yeah, that seems out. safest. Cliff Jumper, you're gonna be okay. Ah, why well, can't I just have the men with John? Good. You haven't eaten your first meal yet. And John is like a dessert for you. Yeah, we don't want him to get an upset tummy. So it's more better for you to stay in my room under the other Cliff Jumper's guidance. You could probably, who has two blasters in there, that could kill you easily if you ever try to drink his inner John. And it's probably the safest if we lock him up somewhere in secure. Yeah. I don't want the Walking Dead happening in Cybertron and Earth <laughs> this time. Yeah. I don't want the Walking Dead going on in my bedroom. Not in my room. Mm -mm. No. And plus, there's uh. going to be Dropkick in there, so he's going to be the Decepticon sacrifice. Well, he probably doesn't want his Energon siphoned away either. There he is, back into... That awesome vehicle mode. Yeah, that awesome vehicle mode. Yeah, this guy looks great. Both modes, guys, he really does. He is a great looking figure. Yeah, this is definitely... Even though, man, we've come pretty close, I think, to collecting almost oh, hold on. all of the uh, Combiner Wars. We have blood. I mean, we don't have Victorian, I guess. Victoria? Victorian was the... Um, Girl version? Well, she, yeah, but I think it was mostly planes and stuff. We don't have a lot of planes because, you know, honestly, we're not really into the air aircraft side of Transformers quite as much. <sighs> okay, I'm holding on. We have blood, not energy. We're safe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. But there it is, guys, and I know we've got one, we have one remaining Transformer left to complete the Combiner Wars, guys. Breakneck. His name is Breakneck, yeah. We'll be getting to him at some point in the future, guys. Stay tuned for that. It might even be after this video, or it might be before this video, guys. Who knows? Who can even tell these days? But guys, definitely that will be coming, and then we will put the entire Prime Wars trilogy and the Combiner Wars collection to bad guys once and for all in this year. And then, well, of course, there's, of course, an unbelievably huge number of Transformers available, guys. So we're not gonna try to collect every single one that ever existed, but uh, we are definitely doing quite a lot of them. But anyway, guys, here's our look at Combiner Wars Deluxe Class at Dead End, guys. If you enjoyed this, please give us a old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button. If you've not done so already, guys, Blue bell and comments. I don't know if they'll be there. If there are, please use them if you care to do that, guys. Whether or not, please come follow us on our Twitter feed where updates to the channel are made pretty much as soon as they happen by yours truly, guys. And there's Twitter specific content such as displays that you can only get there, guys. So if you use Twitter, please come join us there. We'd love to have you. 
Here it is, one last look at Dead End. I want Enter John, and now the problem. I want Enter John. Give me Enter John. I want Enter John. That's actually frustrating. Give for a me lot some more. Enter John. Oh no, he's two cliff jumpers. We'll see you next time. He's gonna say cliff jumpers Enter John. Okay, I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go put this guy in the containment room real quick. Bye-bye.